part five of a very important read, an article posted by Dame Wigington of geoengineeringwatch.org, which you need to bookmark. This article, former Air Force officer warns of atmospheric spraying and the coming collapse. If you have not heard part one, part two, part three, part four, go to my channel and listen and come back and listen to part five. And if you don't want to listen to any of it, click on the link below and go and read this article because the information is very, very, very important. Part five picks up on uh, handheld radios, CB radios. Interestingly, I remember a couple of years ago, I posted a video on my original Kafka Winston World channel and I don't, I don't know anything about CB radios, but instinct told me that it could be a way for us to keep in communication with one another when they do take down our ability to communicate with one another, because that is going to happen. And I was suggesting CB radios. Well, my instincts were right on. Here is this Air Force colonel telling everybody to get these CB radios. In recent years, a relatively new radio service which uses handheld low power radios has become very popular among campers, boaters, hunters, and others. These radio utilize the Family Radio Service, or FRS. An FCC license is not required to use this service. These radios have a range depending upon terrain, obstacles, and weather of about two to six miles, despite inordinate claims of greater ranges by manufacturers. As with CB frequencies or channels, channel three has been designated as an emergency or calling frequency for family radio service radios. Family radio service radios share several frequencies or channels with another older radio service the General Mobile Radio Service, or GMRS. These radios are a more powerful alternative as they are typically installed in vehicles. However, just as with CB radios, providing them with a 12-volt DC power source will allow them to work in any location. Their output power, and therefore their range, are greater than either CB or FRS radios and varies by model. Technically, a license is required to operate on GMRS frequencies. However, according to the FCC, an individual can operate on any frequency with or without a license in an emergency. The radios used by highway or other construction personnel, for example, who rotate signs that read stop or proceed with caution or whatever, use radios that operate in yet another unlicensed band or service, the Multi-Use Radio Service, or MURS. These radios are available in five frequencies and do not require a license. Their range is greater than family radio services, FRS radios. However, they are most costly, more costly. As with CB and FRS radios, both GMRS and MURS radios use channel 3 and the primary calling frequency. FRS radios should have no less than 50 channels, some of which communicate with GMRS radios. An excellent portable, lightweight, durable radio manufactured in China by a company called uh, Beofeng, I don't know, has become extremely popular across the United States. I have provided first responders who fight wildfires in California with these radios, and they have performed admirably. They produce either 5 watts or 8 watts of power. These are referred to as dual band radios, not unlike traditional commercial AM and FM radios. Frequency range for both transmitting and receiving is very broad from 136 to 174 megahertz, VHF or very high frequency, and from 400 to 520 megahertz, UHF or ultra high frequency. 
They also receive commercial FM radio stations. The MURS frequencies are either close to around 151 or 154 megahertz. So these are covered by those Chinese radios. FRS and GMRS frequencies, which fall in the 462 megahertz range, can communicate with these radios as well. They also receive all 10 NOAA weather frequencies. In many communi communities, they will receive local public safety transmissions, police, fire, EMS, state police, etc. They are available from Amazon or on eBay, shipping or origin from some eBay sellers, sellers is China, and requires considerably longer delivery, delivery time. So get on it. And I'm going to have to post another video. But radios from Amazon, though a few dollars more, are shipped from within the United States. Part six will be posted as soon as I'm done.